Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.10. Place the first digit. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is I can use place value to decide where to place the first digit in a quotient. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, Jamie took 144 photos on a digital camera. The photos are to be placed equally in six photo albums. How many photos will be in each album? Let's look at our blue box first to know what to do. It says we're going to underline what we are asked to find. Well, we want to find how many photos will be in each album. And circle what we need to use. We need to know there's 144 photos and we're going to split them equally into six groups. So we're going to divide 144 divided by 6. Now, the first thing that we need to know is that we're going to look at the place value in the first digit. Look at the first number in 144. The first number is a 100. And 100 cannot evenly, a 1 cannot evenly be split into 6 without regrouping. So we're going to look at it not as 1s, but as 10s. So if I look at my tens place, if I look at the first two numbers, the first two numbers are 14. So now I'm going to, instead of looking at one group of hundreds, I'm going to look at 14 groups of tens because 6 can go into 14. So we know that since it can't go into the hundreds, it's going to go into the tens place. So on step two, it says, now we're going to go ahead and divide. We know that six doesn't go into one, so it goes into 14. It goes into the first two numbers. Six goes into 14 two times, which is 12. And then we're going to subtract to see what's left over. So if I had 14 and I used up 12, I have two left over. Well, now the next thing that I need to do is I have this four on the side. So I can't just ignore the 4. So we now have 24, because I have the 2, and now I'm going to bring down that 4 to decide how to deal with it. So now I have 24 1s divided by 6. Well, lucky for us, 6 goes into 24 evenly. It goes in 4 times. 6 times 4 is 20. Four. And then I subtract, and I have 24 minus 24, which means I get 0. So my answer, remember, is at the top, so it's going to go in 24 times. So if there are six albums, each album will have 24 pictures in it. We will continue example two tomorrow in class. You're almost finished. When you're sure you understand this lesson, go back to your teacher's website and complete the exit slip. See you tomorrow.